Hi everyone, it's Maggie, and I'm here with um, just a small um, haul share with you um, from a thrift store in the next town over. It's about 10 minutes away, and it's just a tiny little thrift store, but I go in once every, say, two, three months to see if um, they happen to have any doilies or milk glass, um, that type of thing. Um, they had no milk glass that I could see. Um, they do have some beautiful, you know, china pieces and, um, glassware and, um, stuff like that, but I don't even have any room for that stuff anymore. So I basically look for, um, doilies and old curtains and that, but I did find, um, some doilies and a couple of, um, trims so let me show you what I found I washed everything and ironed it so a couple had stains on them and the stains didn't come out but that doesn't bother me so let me show you the two trims that um, I found oh and I should just tell you that everything was a dollar a piece uh, there were no price tags on anything, and when I went to the lady at the counter and asked her if she knew, you know, what the prices were, she just said, um, I had gotten them all in, there's like three different little rooms, and I found them all in this one room, and um, she said, everything's a dollar. So I said, okay. So here's the first um trim and it is I believe it's handmade and it's crocheted and there's over a yard there's probably like a yard maybe like a yard and a foot but I thought that was really pretty and then the other one is also hand crocheted and um, it's different though, and this is also about mm, a yard and a foot. Uh, let me see if I can get the right side. Kind of can't tell, so let me just show it to you. But isn't that pretty? Be perfect for um, anything fabric, books, or wall hangings. So those were the two trims I found. And then I found this doily here, and there is some like light blue discoloration on there. Um, but like I said, that doesn't bother me. You can't actually you can't see any on that this side here. So let me see if I can. Whoops, let me get it. And I think I need to hold on one second. I think I need to try to bring my camera up just a little more. But Okay, here we go. Let's see. Hope that holds. Whoops. Let's hope that holds. Okay. So, that's, and this one's a, um, a thicker one. I mean, you can tell somebody made it, but it, they used a, um, a thicker yarn, but it's still pretty. So I got that. And this one I thought was really pretty. And the yarn is white with um, gold threads through it. And I think, you know, some of them, you, they're so similar on both sides, it's really hard to tell which side is which. But isn't that pretty? So I got that one. And then this is my favorite one. It's so thin. And you can tell, it, I, I think it's pretty old. And again, it's handmade. And there's some um, stains, but I don't think it's, I think it's um, like this might have been the original color and the rest has lightened up. But look at the design on this one. Isn't it beautiful? I love this. I couldn't believe when she said a, a dollar each, especially for the bigger pieces that I'll show you um, at the end. And then there's this one. 
So everyone except for the two next two I'm going to show you, these two are the same. And normally I don't get doilies with colors in them, but this was just such a pretty, these were pretty, and all I thought of was fall, you know, the fall colors, and they'd probably make beautiful flower centers, um, you know, um, using... any well any fall color really but even just making the flower with um, this beige color and then putting this in the middle and then a, a bling on top I thought would be really pretty so there's two of those and these also were handmade it's just incredible the work that goes into these and then there was this one And there's six of these. And I think, you know, if you fold it in half, it would make a perfect page for a, um, for a needle book or fabric book. But I thought this was pretty. I like the ones that have the material in the middle of them also. And then I thought, this is very soft. And I thought... It was a really pretty design. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do, do justice showing this one to you. But um, let me see how I can do this. Oh, that's going to be white. Of course, I'm not prepared, so I don't think anything's going to really help. So let me just hold it. I'll just hold it up. So this is the bottom and then there's three pieces in the middle and then the top so it's a it's a little bit different of a shape because of the um the pineapple stitching but it's very very thin and it's just beautiful and then there were a couple of um two or three runners this is um, just a small one and looks like maybe a dog chewed the end of that one off. But I figured this could be cut up for, um, you know, for flower centers. So this one's really pretty. And then um, this one's the same pattern, but it's a cream color. The other one was Snow White. This is cream color. And this one is long. This one's over a yard long. But it's the same pattern. And this one I, I probably won't cut up. There's nothing wrong with it. There's no um, discolorations or stains. So I will probably um, use this as it is. I, I really don't like cutting up anything that um, is handmade that um, you know that doesn't have anything wrong with it it's not that I never do but I try not to and then this is the longest and this is about this is about a yard and a half and it's three doilies wide and let me just show you this is the this is the doily here and then these are the connectors here so let me um, let me see if I can use this black here maybe it'll show up a little better but this is this is it and it's I, like I said it's about a yard and a half wide and it's a beautiful coffee color. And it was a dollar. <laughs> so this is my little haul from um, the thrift store down the street. And it'll be a while before I go back there because I did take all their doilies. I didn't. I don't think I left any. If I left any, it's because I didn't see them. <laughs> I missed them. So 
hopefully if there are any they'll be there the next time I go but anyways um, if you'd like leave me a comment let me know what you think and um, I will see you again soon hopefully with a, um, a project share so thanks for watching bye